Today we're going to be taking a look at the Saga Collection 212th Battalion Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. Hey there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. So this is another edition of Clone Trooper Tuesday, I think I've decided on that. I think we're going to do a Clone Trooper every Tuesday if I can. And today it's the turn of the 212th Battalion Clone Trooper. So this was the battalion that was sent to Utapau to help Obi-Wan Kenobi find General Grievous. And eventually they turned on him with Order 66, but nevertheless, we're going to take a look at this figure. It's a great figure. It's a repaint of the 2005 Clone Trooper, and it was also used on the figure that I reviewed last week, the 442nd Siege Battalion Clone Trooper. And this figure is from 2006. It's part of the Saga Collection, and obviously there are other versions of this figure, namely this one. So this is the Clone Trooper 212 Battalion in the vintage collection this one is vc38 and the problem with this one as you can see the helmet on this guy is out of scale because obviously it's an actual removable helmet i do believe pretty sure it is i haven't actually got this one loose but i'm pretty sure it is and that is why the scale of it is slightly off and also because it's made out of a different rubbery plastic it's actually going yellow so back to the saga collection one as you can see seems to be in perfect sorry about the glare there seems to be in perfect condition in the coloring and everything and the scale of it is spot on so i do love the saga collection clone troopers we're going to crack him open let's just have a look at the packaging there so there he is on the back you've got the hologram figure there i believe that's darth vader yep this is a blue darth vader some other figures from the wave and there you can see yep clone trooper battle of utapau it's funny that they don't actually call him the 212th Battalion on the box. A bit weird there, but he is the 212th Battalion. And there you can see Commander Cody in the background there on, on the image there, giving the orders. So let's crack him open and take a look at the figure. Okay, so first things first, we do have the holographic Darth Vader figure there. Little statue. Pretty nice detail on that actually, but... That is not what we're here to see so we're going to just put that down here and let's have a look at the figure so obviously straight out of the package they had him in this pretty awesome running position here you can see there loads of detail on the figure as i did mention it is a repaint of the 2005 clone trooper it's the phase two armor and as per my last video the 442nd with the green paint it's an exact figure of that but just in orange it does have the removable antenna he does come with the stand, the Revenge of the Sith stand. And as you can see there, they do have the Utapau clone trooper written on the front. And we go around looking at all the detail of the figure. Really nice figure. Let's take him off the stand. Let's straighten him up a bit. So obviously the gun will fit in both hands, so we can move it to this hand and then pull his other arm around like that because obviously it's fully articulated figures. You can have him in that pose there like that. As I mentioned before, the helmet is not removable, so it's actually on a ball there. So you've got full movement of the head, articulation of the shoulders, ball hinge all the way around, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel legs, ball hinged knees, ball hinged ankles. So all the articulation you're ever going to need so this you know 2006 saga collection have some great figures in the line and the clone troopers are probably the best in my opinion so i'm not really too bothered about removable helmets because then they get the scale of the helmet correct so if we could just have some more figures like this in the vintage collection i'd take all the different types of clones you know, they can get Commander Apo in there, you know, redo them all, get them on those vintage style cards. Now, don't forget, if you like this video and this figure, please let YouTube know by hitting that like button. It really does help the channel and the videos. If, you, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I'm going to be going through a load of my older figures. And obviously, when the new ones come out, I will be reviewing those as and when. So there you go then guys, it's getting back into that pose where he's holding the holding his blaster. Swivel wrists. 
removable antenna, just an absolutely lovely figure. Just put him on the stand. Just exceptional figures, loads of battle damage going on on there. Lovely paint job. Nice weathering all round. Could do with a bit more weathering and such on the back. They seem to forget those areas sometimes. You know, it's not as if those characters in the film aren't going to get battle damage on the back of them or whatever. But still, if you're going to pose him like that and position him like that, he looks absolutely great. Nice battle damage on his helmet as well. So, awesome figure for any collection of clones. Great for army building. You know, it'd be really nice to have a load of these led by Commander Cody. All right, then, guys, let me know what you think of this figure in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching, as per usual, and we shall see you on the next one.